definitely just watched a video about decompression and accidents that's happened here at my airline. Freaked me all the way out, y'all. Like, I can't even do it. Good morning. I woke up in like the greatest mood this morning. Woke up, edited a video, did my CBTs, uh, watched the episode of Big Brother, then I went to my study group and we knocked it out for our MSV, so we're prepared. I didn't eat breakfast, so now I'm headed to lunch and then class. So, on a little restroom break for class, and we definitely just watched a video about decompression and accidents that's happened here at my airline. Freaked me all the way out, y'all. Like, I can't even deal. I can't deal. I don't, what, like, what do you do if that happens? Broken legs and concussions and all the things that you sign up for when you decide that you want to be a flight attendant. Like, that's real life. Those things genuinely and really happen. Anyway, some good news. I passed both of my MSVs today. Yay! But now I gotta go back to class. Boo. Alrighty. So let's talk, y'all. Today. Mm, it is Thursday, 11 28 p.m. Class started at 1.30 p.m. today. Um, what do we do first? Oh, first we talked with our instructor about how our observation flights went. Some people complained. Um, some people talked about their great experiences. Whatever. I asked about the two people that needed seatbelt extensions and what you would do in, you know, a, well, of course it was a real situation, but for a paying customer, like, how do you handle that? So he showed me where the rules were for that. Um, and then after that, I think I told y'all earlier, but by the grace of God, I passed both of my MSVs today. <laughs> the first one was a breeze. So the first one was the one that I was telling y'all about that another guy in the AM class, you know, showed me his routine and how he figured it out. And I showed my other study group members and knocked it out on the first try. So remember with the K, with the MSVs, we get four tries, three tries on the the day of the KSV test and if you don't make it you get a retry the next day so went in there did my routine bing bang boom 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 she was like you know have you completed everything and I was like well let me just double count one two three four five six seven eight I'm good she's like you passed perfect so I didn't really I wasn't really nervous about that one didn't really have any jitters but the one after that, MSV4 was for door operations and arming and disarming. And it's not hard. Um, it's just a lot of steps to remember and little itty bitty things that if you don't do, you'll have to do a retake. Ain't nobody got time for that. So my nerves was bad. It was bad. I was shaking and I was jittering and I was sweating. Well, I wasn't sweating because it's cold in there, but you know, just <laughs> all of those feelings. I was just anxious. I was just ready to get it over with. And people were coming out and they were saying that they had to do, you know, retake two times. Another guy had to get to the end of the line and go back for his third retake. So I was just like, I cannot, I can't be bothered with the retake. Like, I don't have time for that. You know, just, I need to be able to get it done and move on to the next thing. So I went in there and the, the instructor that was doing it, he's so nice. He's so, so super sweet. So he's like, are you nervous? I was like, yes, but I'm nervous for no reason because I know what I'm doing. And so he gave me a little pep talk and then we started it and I did everything and I got it done. And I was like, give me a hug at the end. <laughs> so he gave me a hug. He was super, super sweet. So got that done. Then we did some um, study time, completed some CBTs, um, waited for um, Crew 2 to finish their um, MSVs. Um, then we got together as an entire class and um, did some instructor-led trainings. So our test tomorrow, because remember I told y'all this week we got a test every day except for the day that I had my observation flight. So 
have a KSB tomorrow that is going to be over how to use the emergency equipment. So the previous test that we've had over emergency equipment was where to locate it on the plane. Now we actually have a test on how to use it. So I'm gonna have to definitely get up a little earlier tomorrow and make sure that I read that thoroughly a few times to get it in my brain. Um, just because simply like, I don't know the correct way to fight a fire or use a, 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 a halon extinguisher. I don't really know how to put on a PBE. Just, you know, I don't know how to open up a 36 man life raft. Like, who got time for that in their regular life? Not me. So, now I'm here trying to learn all of that and literally within, we started learning that at 7.05 and we have 7.05 p.m. tonight and we have that test at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. So as y'all can see, that's not even a full 24 hours. That's literally how fast we get the information, learn it, test it, pass it. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna study it tonight. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then the um, KSV is also over decompression, which just had me losing my mind. Like, I don't like to think of things that could potentially go wrong or anything negative. Like, I just like to keep happy thoughts in my mind. And I know that's not necessarily realistic. You know, it's everything's not always gonna be good. Bad things are gonna be happening and you should definitely be prepared. <sighs> But it just freaks me the heck out. Like, I don't want to think of a decompression happening on the plane and then the plane nose diving down to under how much of a feet. Like, so we were learning about that today and my face was just like, like, I was so scared just learning about it and listening to it. And then, of course, they showed us videos of decompression um, emergencies that have happened before and a guy broke his whole left leg in nine places, um, a flight attendant, you know, like, so it really just puts things into perspective of, once again, what we're truly here for and what this job really entails. Besides giving you your Coke and peanuts, we saving lives. So I just have to wrap my mind around that. Like, I know I'll do fine. I'll learn it. I'll pass it. Um, but it's just getting it in my head that these are things that could truly and potentially happen on a flight. Um, things happen. Gotta be prepared. And then we also learned about um, fighting fires tonight, which I don't know why I'm excited about that one. So weird, right? I don't want to think about nothing negative, but I'm excited about putting on the little PBE and fighting fire. So we learned about that, but we don't actually test on that one until Saturday. So Saturday we'll have our KSV in the morning over the fire and then we'll have the MSV and actually go fight a real fire. So I won't be able to, to vlog that obviously, but I wish I could for y'all so y'all can see me doing my little thing thing. Um, but yeah, that was really it for the day, y'all. I mean, it's it's really getting down to crunch time. What's, what's the actual date for today? Today is, today is the 13th. Not next week, Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, I'll be walking across the stage with my little wings and my cute little uniform. So, I'm good. Like, I have no doubt that I'll make it through. Not, not a doubt in the world. I'm just, I'm just ready for it to be over. Especially this portion of it, learning all of the emergency situations and just, in my mind, what I consider negative things. Just learning all of that. But I got to do it. You know, if y'all are ever on my plane, on my flight, and anything happened, I'm going to save your life. Okay? Good night, y'all. Um, once again, remember to subscribe, like, share, and ding the little bell um, so you can know when I'm coming to you with new videos. Um,